So this is my fundamentals video. Um, this video is going to explain just kind of the basic hazards you can find around a yacht club. Uh, and it's going to go through it in a way which is kind of quick and easy to understand. Um, it approaches kind of different hazards both on the water and on land. Uh, things which would come as a direct result of sailing or things that you would just find at any day camp. Uh, it touches on a number of examples. And here we go. We're going to be talking about hazards, like local hazards that you can find around a yacht club. Okay, so just to start off, what is a hazard? Does anybody, can anybody tell me what a hazard is? Yes, Lenny. Danger. Danger, good. A hazard is something which presents danger to you. So, why is it important to recognize that there's hazards around a yacht club? Kayla? To promote safety. Yeah, to promote safety. And why do we want to promote safety? So people don't get hurt. Yeah, so people don't get hurt. There we go. Um, so let's, let's try to name some hazards that could be at a yacht club. So I'll start off. I think one example of a hazard is like, like a large pier. I think that's how you spell it, like a large pier. I think that's an example of a hazard. Um, does anybody know why that might be a hazard? Yeah. Because you can fall off. Yeah, because you can fall off. There you go. And you might not be the best swimmer, or you might get injured during the fall. It might be hard as like an instructor. You might lose track of kids. So, all right, who can name like another hazard that you might find around like a yacht club or a marina anywhere near the water? Broken yeah. glass. Broken glass. That's actually a really good one. I Okay, broken glass. All right, so Lenny, why is broken glass a hazard? Because you can cut yourself. There you go. All right, let's try to get like two or three more. All right, so what's another one? Other yachts around? Yeah, other boats or other boaters. That's a good one. That's a big one because you never know what other people are going to do. All right. And anyone else? All right, big one that I always noticed um, at the club I used to go to is that there was like a trail cutting through the club um, where like random people could just walk. So a big, big no-no, you know, a big uh, other hazard is just kind of the public because, you know, random people are kind of cutting into the yacht club and out. You don't know who's coming in and out, so that's something to watch out for. Is just you know make sure you're always around a friend or another person at the camp or uh, another instructor. So it's very stranger danger for that one. All right, and there's one more. It's not quite as obvious, but I've kind of thought of. Um, that's like a big one. Cranes. But like most clubs, they have like little cranes just for like put, uh, putting boats in and out of the water. And the problem is that sometimes kids like to play on the cranes or like to use a little control thing and hoist their friends up on it. And that can be really dangerous because, you know, if there's moving parts, you can get your fingers caught in, you can fall, stuff like that. Okay, so those are some of the hazards. I think those are some really good ones, guys. Um, so let's go through and think of some ways that we can avoid these hazards. So what I'm going to do is what I want you guys to do is I'm going to ask you guys to come up and write ways to avoid hazards um, underneath whatever you want, whichever hazard you want. Right? So Stephen, do you want to try to, whichever hazard you'd like, just underneath uh, maybe write and just like tell us a way you can avoid that hazard. Be aware of other boat drivers or whatever boaters. There. Yeah, that's a good one. Definitely, definitely be aware of other boaters. All right, so why do we want to do that? Because it'll reduce the risk of us crashing into them or vice versa. Yeah, exactly. It reduces the risk of having a run-in with someone. 
All right, so Salone, do you want to do one for us? Sure. Any, any hazard you'd like, just name a way to avoid it. Gets, gets the job done. <laughs> Good, okay, so what did you write? Um, for broken glass, get someone to clean it up. Good, get someone to clean it up. <laughs> so you don't fall. Good, so like, so sometimes uh, what can happen, especially a lot of yacht clubs, is that um, you have older people, like parents or older members of the club, on Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, or if it's in the summer on any night, um, maybe having a, a party or getting a little rowdy, and they might leave some bottles lying around, and they might regularly break glasses. It happens all the time. So we want to avoid the broken glass because that can hurt us. Um, so so like your solution was get something to clean up. That's a really good one. Uh, and the other obvious solution would just be don't go near it. All right, so Michaela, your turn. You want to do okay. a method of avoiding one of these hazards? The stranger danger, that's a good one. Yeah, it is. Thanks. <laughs> good, okay. I can report any unknown people. Report any unknown people, that's really good. Okay, so who would we want to report like just weird, random people kind of walking around the club to? Like who, who would I report those people to? Like if I wanted to tell, like who? Like who workers. I tell? Workers, good. So like I could tell another instructor. Um, I could tell the head instructor, it's always a good person, or just any adult that you trust that you know on the premises. Um, all right, so I'm going to do the last two. So with a large peer, um, the way to avoid that is First thing, let's switch up the marker. First thing is just don't go near it. That's the big one. Don't go near it um, unless you're with your instructor. Um, or if you really have to, just try to be like around like a responsible adult, but you know, hopefully an instructor. Um, the other way to avoid the large peer, if you do have to go on it, Make sure you're wearing your life jacket. Uh, why is it always a good idea to wear a life jacket anywhere around the water, guys? Yeah. In case you fall in. Good, in case you fall in. Because even if we're a good swimmer, uh, it might be really wavy, it might be a storm, we might just be shocked that we fell in, if we get pushed in or something. And in that moment, you just want to know that you'll be able to kind of float and then kind of collect yourself and then deal with it. Uh, lastly, with the crane, again, Big way to avoid the crane, don't go near it. Um, other way that we can avoid the crane at uh, a yacht club, sometimes the instructors like will put fencing around it, but you know, the big ones just don't go near it and don't play with it. Okay, so uh, before I just do a quick wrap up, does anybody have anything else to mention, any other? Hazards that they thought of, or any other ways to deal with any of these hazards? No? All right, awesome. Um, so let's just do a quick wrap up of what we talked about today, guys. Uh, so there's lots of hazards that can uh, occur around a yacht club. Um, of course, some of the more obvious ones are going to be related to going on the water. So, you know, other boaters, uh, the pier, other boats that are, you know, moored in the harbor. Um, but then there's some less obvious ones. So the crane was kind of a less obvious one because not every club has it. And if they do have it, obviously you don't want to go near it just because you know it's it's a moving machinery, it's dangerous. Broken glass, it's not so obvious, but you know, as yacht clubs are often social social clubs as well, you do have incidences of that. Um, and I'd say out of all these ones, the big one, which you won't always find, but it's really important, especially since you guys are going to a camp is stranger danger, just make sure you report any unknown people kind of walking around the camp to an instructor or the head instructor or a responsible adult. Uh, and yeah, so thanks very much guys. Thanks. Thanks. Pretty much any yacht club in general. 
Uh, of course, you're going to have, you know, various other um, things at certain camps that you don't have at others. But I feel this video kind of did a okay job at, you know, capturing as much as you could. Uh, thanks for watching.